BA Systems will undertake design work on the upgraded torpedo at its facilities in Portsmouth and Fife, providing over 100 highly skilled engineering and manufacturing roles, and around 100 other jobs in the supply chain across the UK. The Stingray Mod Zero torpedo officially entered service with the Royal Navy in 1983. Early versions were soon deployed during the Falklands War. The Mod 1 version is still in use today and can be delivered from the Type 23 Frigate's Magazine Torpedo Launching System MTLS, or more likely dropped by a Merlin MK2 or Wildcat helicopter. The Mod 1 is officially capable of speeds of up to 45 knots and uses a mix of active and passive sonar guidance. The 45kg warhead is a shape-charged torpex designed to penetrate the highly pressurized hull of a submarine. The Mod 1 entered service in 2001 and features a vastly improved sonar, tactical guidance system, and a new seawater activated battery. The Mod 1 weapon was further modified from 2013 onwards with a new, insensitive warhead that fits into its munitions, representing a step change in security measures. Although the official date for the Mod 1's retirement is set at 2030, preliminary studies for its replacement began in 2019. A 2021 Defense Command document confirmed that a new lightweight torpedo would be acquired. BE Systems has begun self-funded work on what is tentatively called the Future Lightweight Torpedo Project, and this development work will continue into the Stingray Mod 2, which is accelerating the assessment phase. The Stingray is considered an excellent weapon, likely superior in many respects to its US MK-54 equivalent. It is optimized for open ocean operations against deep diving and fast diving SSNs and SSBNs. Its use in shallower or more congested waters is somewhat limited by the time it takes to activate and initiate its search pattern. The Mod 2 will likely address this shortcoming with improved literal water performance and improved target discrimination if there is high ambient noise or sophisticated decoys are used. Mod 2 is also likely to have the capability to detect and target small. Stealthy LUAV slash LUAVs, which will increasingly form part of the undersea threat. P 8A compatible in November 2023, it was confirmed that the Stingray Mod 1 will be integrated onto the P 8A Poseidon. A software update will be made available globally to all P 8A operators, allowing them to be armed with either the MK 54 or Stingray. The UK initially acquired stocks of US-built MK-54S to provide an initial operational capability for the RAF aircraft, but will now be able to benefit from the UK's larger Stingray inventory and eventual Mod 2 upgrade. Mod 2 will also provide a further level of interoperability between the RAF, Arno AF and US Navy Poseidons operating together from RAF Lossiemouth, Naval Air Station Kaflavik and Evans Air Base.